It's another snapshot of the pensions landscape and another story of deficits. That's the difference between pension fund assets and future liabilities. There was a total deficit of £51 billion in the top 100 company schemes in June, according to a report from the consultants LCP. Now that's down a lot from the £96 billion figure last year. But one big factor was record employer contributions of £17.5 billion. Now that was up 50% and it's clear that many companies now feel the costs are too high. So we're backing away from traditionally generous final salary schemes. Vodafone is one of the big companies which in the last year has closed its final salary scheme to existing staff. Another is the insurance giant Aviva, affecting more than 7,000 workers. Marks & Spencer is capping pension benefits for its employees, all part of an accelerating trend, according to today's report. I think the signs are that the companies are retrenching from final salary, and I think final salary in its current form is, uh, is unlikely to be you know, the long-term pension vehicle. So millions of private sector employees are heading towards a future with less generous, more unpredictable pensions. Unions say they're concerned, but more so about all those workers without any sort of workplace pension schemes at all. The worrying news for uh, employees is the whole-scale retreat of employers in the private sector from good pension schemes to the extent that now we've got just under two-thirds of employees in private sector firms who get no employer support for their pension contributions whatsoever. And all this, of course, as the government conducts a major review of public sector pensions. Stand by for more big changes in the pensions landscape over the next 12 months.